Was a mermaid caught on camera hunting? This is all things creepy, let's begin. So supposedly this footage was presented by a doctor, Paul Robertson, and as we can see by the heads up display, it seems to be in Russian, maybe Ukrainian. So this was probably footage taken on some kind of deep sea expedition. As the footage progresses, some sort of underwater structure is revealed, maybe some kind of deep sea mining system. So theoretically, the intended purpose of this footage is a routine inspection of this equipment. Suddenly, the camera pans left as a fish starts twitching in the periphery and once fully panned and focused on this fish we see that there is some kind of harpoon or spear embedded in it. Okay so maybe some kind of diver has gone hunting and it's just coincidence he's harpooned fish but no, something clearly not human flashes across the screen to retrieve the fish. So, okay, if you didn't know the backstory behind this, it's pretty spooky, I guess. There are plenty of people out there who genuinely think this is proof that mermaids exist. So this footage originally comes from a documentary on the Discovery Channel, on an episode they shot called Mermaid, The New Evidence. And it looks quite convincing, the footage seems genuine, even the fish seems pretty realistic. Of course, it's somewhat fuzzy, but deep sea footage is never as crisp as footage on land. So surely it can't be fake, this must be genuine proof of some kind of intelligent underwater species that hunts with tools. The Discovery Channel presented it, I mean, it's a channel designed to educate you. Well sadly that is not the case. In this documentary all of the scientists presented are actors. All of the footage presented is fabricated, made in a studio designed to entertain, not necessarily educate. Of course, this is pretty misleading and some people might lash out at me and say, how do I know that? It says in the small print of this show. At the end of the show, they put multiple disclaimers saying that this isn't real, this is fabricated content. Not even a reenactment, because why would you have to reenact legitimate footage if you have it. It's just completely made up and they admit to it. Of course, most viewers, the average watch time does not pass onto the credits, so most people probably wouldn't even see these disclaimers. And I think it's very dishonest of Discovery Channel. I think Animal Planet played this fake documentary too because it clearly is purely for entertainment. If you want to create a movie, create a movie and put it on a channel that shows movies. Don't put it on a channel for documentaries because you're just going to misinform people. And we could maybe give this a pass if they explained during the show that it's fake and this is all speculation hypotheses, but they don't do that. They present this evidence as though it's real and the disclaimer at the end of the credits after most people have stopped watching really doesn't serve an educational purpose. It's more of just a fail safe in case people question them on this. They can always say, well, we did put the disclaimer. So sorry for the rant, but Animal Planet and Discovery Channel have done this a few times now. I think there've been Megalodon documentaries where they used fabricated footage. They've even done a few of these mermaid ones. So obviously it generates a lot of interest and therefore money. Sadly, I think that's what motivates them rather than educating people and if they want to get any credibility back, they need to really go back to what made these documentaries good. Genuine facts and just nature being entertaining in and of itself. So let me know what you think. Maybe I'll do a video on the likelihood and possibility of mermaids being out there, but I can promise you footage like this will not be included. Like the video if you did, share it with a friend, and of course, if you haven't already, subscribe for more creepy content.